Hi, and welcome back to Everyday Wellness. I'm here with my son, Colton, and we are gonna make some protein-filled snacks. Um, these are two that my family definitely eats a lot, and um, I got some really good tips on, on how to prepare them very fast, but also how to store them um, so you don't eat them too quickly and that they're around for a longer period of time. Okay, so your first one will be a protein-filled um, yogurt parfait. Okay, full of nutrition, so I'm gonna step you through it. Um, oops. First of all, we're gonna start with Greek yogurt. Um, it's just plain Greek yogurt, and we're going to make it taste better by putting um, some flavoring to it. So it's plain, you don't wanna eat this plain, no, no gross. But we're gonna add some fun things to it to make it really tasty for them. All right, so this is a serving of a protein. Um, it's three-fourths cup, so I measured it so that we don't overeat. Even though protein's good for us, we don't necessarily wanna overeat it. So I'm gonna throw that into the bowl. All right, gotta get all of it. All right, and now you add some sweetener. I'm choosing to use local honey, and it's not a lot. I'm just gonna put a little swirl in there because some of the other flavors will go in too. So we don't need a lot, and a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, which is um, really great for controlling your glucose and your appetite. And then this guy is called turmeric. This is an anti-inflammatory spice, which doesn't have a lot of flavor. And so I just kinda like to throw that into some of my meals. Now this, this recipe today, I'm gonna make it taste like a cookie dough parfait, right? That's gonna be one of their favorite ways to make it. Um, a little bit of vanilla because vanilla goes in cookies. Okay, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter um, and the chocolate's gonna come from Chocolate uh, Shakeology, okay? So when I do this, I'm getting, giving them a lot of different vitamins that, not being tricky or sneaky, um, it tastes amazing, but I didn't use even a full scoop, it was just a little bit. Dust it on there, they're getting some really great vitamins, superfoods, adaptogens, probiotics. Um, your, your yogurt alone has probiotics, but I'm throwing a little bit more in there. So good. All right, now I'm gonna move in and put a little bit of almond butter in there. Um, you can use peanut butter, just be careful of all the additives that are in your um, nut butter that you choose. I'm choosing this one, it's upside down because of this is my tip. Um, when you buy peanut butter that is natural or almond butter that is natural or other nut butters, it could have the oiliness to it. If you store them upright or upside down like this, um, when it comes time to scooping it out, it's not gonna have that film on the top or that oil on the top. It's gonna all kind of mix together. So I'm gonna throw just a little bit into the yogurt. Wow. Just a touch. Okay, I'll put that back in there. We'll use that in a little bit. And then you just stir it together. And this is such a fun little treat. Actually, if, if it's not, you're making it for yourself, not for your kids, if you just worked out, you could totally eat this as a protein snack afterwards. Um, I also have some blueberries out here. I love to throw blueberries into it as well. It gives it some um, really good sweetness and um, kind of some fun to it too. Okay, so that's that's snack number one. That was my protein parfait. Now he's ready to help me with my next one. This is a absolutely go-to in our family. We make protein bites, is what I call them, a lot, okay? I'm gonna double this batch um, because we go through them so fast. So I'm gonna put two cups of oats, just rolled oats in here, okay? To make these, it's kind of three ingredients and then you can get creative after that. Um, you need oats, honey, and some sort of nut butter, okay? Some sort of spread to make it all stick together, okay? So my honey is here. Again, I'm just going to, this is about a fourth cup. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I'm drizzling it around to kind of get things sticking. A fourth cup, and I can always add more in if I need, need to later, but I think that's gonna be fine. And then I want to get a cup of almond butter. And when you choose the natural form like this, 
it's gonna be a little runnier, which is fine. It's gonna make your, your protein bites stick together a little bit better, I think. Um, and of course, you're getting healthier. You're not putting on all these added sugars. So if you choose Jeff or Skippy or, I don't know there's some other brand names. Um, you're, watch the label. You're gonna see a lot of sugar added to them. And of course, that's why they taste good. But you will find that if you make the switch over to other types of natural forms of spreads, they're gonna taste just as good. Okay, so there's that messiness. All right, now come, those were your three staples. So now we're gonna add in the other things. We've got, um, today I, I pulled out some um, sesame, or not sesame seeds, sunflower seeds. I'm just gonna throw a few of those in there. My boys, for sure, are baseball players. You know, they like their sunflower seeds at games. You can put in some dried fruit. I wouldn't do much. I just kind of dust in the cranberries just a little bit. They do have some added sugar to it and they're so condensed. You don't want to have that as your snack always to your children. Um, way too much condensed sugars in there. I'm just gonna put a little bit of chia seeds. Um, chia seeds are kind of fun in that they're packed full of energy, okay? and really, really good fiber source and fat source. Um, pumpkin seeds, high in so many different vitamins and minerals that we're usually lacking in. Love to throw that in there. And then this is optional. You don't have to do both chia and flax, but I would choose one or the other and get these into the protein balls so that one, your kids are getting a good source of nutrition. Okay, so I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that in there. Okay, um, of course you can go back to your cinnamon, your turmeric if you want to. I'm gonna leave it out on this one today. And then I'm gonna throw in, or again for the chocolate, um, a little half scoop of chocolate Shakeology. Again, they're getting all kinds of goodness in there then. All right, so you make mix it all up. I'm gonna try to do this fast. But you mix it all together. And you'll see if the consistency is just not right, you can add something else to it. Um, to keep them as healthy as possible, don't throw in M&Ms and chocolate chips all the time. Because really from the chocolate of the Shakeology, they're gonna taste that and they don't need that, that sugar junk, right? All right. And so what you're gonna do is get that all put together. And then what I do is I use a cookie scoop. I, I use a cookie scoop and push it all in there together and then I put them in a pan and I freeze them. That's my best tip for these because this tastes kind of like cookies, just no baked cookies. And you could probably eat quite a few of them if they're all sitting out in front of you. So put them in the freezer and you won't be able to eat them as fast because I'll have to throw out a little bit. So I just, push them into that little cookie scooper, and then they have a protein ball to munch on. You wanna try it? Yeah. All right, <clears throat> see over the table? Good. Awesome treat for my little ones, and great for taking into the ball games or after any sporting events for school snacks, if nut butters are okay at your school. Um, so super, super easy, and you probably have most of these ingredients at home already. So look at the description below. I'll put the recipe in there as well. But enjoy these protein-filled snacks. Thank you for joining me today on Everyday, Fit Everyday Fitness. I don't even know the name of my show. Everyday Wellness, and I will see you in the next video.